Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Monday, March 31st, 2014, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Well, students in Arizona got a taste of the police state this weekend after the Arizona Wildcats men's basketball team lost in overtime. Students there poured out of the bars onto the streets of Tucson to find close to 100 militarized cops dressed in riot gear and wielding batons. Students there said riot police were all dressed up for a riot and had no riot to go to. Here, this video shows a female student in Arizona getting brutally knocked down by riot police, seemingly for no reason at all. Now, videos uh, that were uploaded over the weekend show cops in Arizona intentionally inciting violence by firing pepper rounds into the crowd of students and attacking innocent bystanders. One guy is being called the Terminator of Tucson as he takes a few rounds to the stomach in his American flag shorts. Now, of course, the only threat this student poses is that he's not afraid of what's going on. This is what a police state looks like. Police beating people down for absolutely no reason at all. It sucks that this had to happen over a basketball game, but perhaps that's just what the average person needs to see, that it's not just domestic terrorists and political activists who are going to be facing these militarized police. It's just your average, everyday college student watching a basketball game. All of you sports fans out there are now domestic terrorists. But it might be too late for the residents of Long Island to see this and turn back the tyranny there. Authorities have launched a crackdown on homeowners who rent their house out to unregistered tenants. It's a new zero tolerance program that will see police conduct home inspections without notice. Landlords in the Long Island community of Westbury will be targeted by a newly created police housing enforcement unit that will modify search warrant law to eliminate prior notice and aggressively use warrants and housing sweeps on a regular basis. Residents are even being encouraged to report their neighbors to authorities if they suspect they are housing tenants who haven't been registered with the government. And a local station gave out an email address and phone number encouraging viewers to report a suspected illegal rental. So goodbye Airbnb and the like, but this isn't about protecting citizens from criminals there. This is about taking down those homeowners who may have been making a little extra cash renting out a bedroom and then not reporting any of those profits to the IRS. That's what this is all about. It's about taxes. And so now these people have no rights, apparently, because they're just going to get unlawfully searched in their homes without a warrant. So this is absolutely disgusting and shame on anybody out there if you actually call that number and tattle on your neighbors and play into this whole tyranny. Now, we're reporting the Bilderberg has just released their latest meeting it's going to be taking place in Denmark at the end of May. Now of course we all know that this meeting is comprised of the most powerful heavyweights in banking, technology, royalty, politics and the press and of course over the years we have forced Bilderberg out of the shadows and so they've been forced to create a little website that gives the dates and an edited attendee list and their little general agenda but it's much like how the mainstream media will typically cover the news. They're going to only give this tangential coverage, if not outright diversion coverage. So now with this Bilderberg website, they can say, hey, look, we're not this secret meeting. We're not these evil people behind closed doors. We're just the most powerful people in the world talking shop over a golf game. And that's exactly how the mainstream media is going to treat it as well. Just look away. But as usual, we here at InfoWars will be staying on top of this upcoming Bilderberg meeting because, of course, as we've reported, there are innumerable circumstances where we can see this organization having a direct impact on global policy. Now, of course, one of the things that they've talked a lot about at Bilderberg is climate change and how to control this message of climate change. And of course, Right on time, the UN a scientific panel there has warned if the world doesn't cut pollution of heat trapping gases, the already noticeable harms of global warming could spiral out of control. The Obama White House says it's taking this new report as a call for action, with John Kerry saying the costs of inaction are catastrophic. And due to climate change, people are going to become more vulnerable to sinking deeper into poverty. Right. 
as if it's not the globalists who are directly responsible for sinking nations into poverty. Now they can just blame economic disparity on global warming. Let's just blame everything on global warming. Let's blame the millions they wasted on healthcare.gov on global warming. And so just what is the White House planning on doing to help combat um, this global warming, their contribution to the whole Agenda 21 planning and regulation? Well, they are going to be regulating cow flatulence as part of its climate change plan. They plan to cut down methane emissions from the dairy industry by 25 percent by 2020. So I don't really know how they plan on capturing these cow toots, but that is their plan nevertheless. Now, as far as regulating anyone else who denies man-made climate change, jail time. At least that's the uh, demented suggestion of Gawker's Adam Weinstein. He says, we have laws on the books to punish anyone whose lies co contribute to people's deaths. It's time to punish these climate change liars. Denialists should face jail. They should face fines. They should face lawsuits from the classes of people whose lives and livelihoods are most threatened by denialist tactics. So what's next? Perhaps opponents of Obamacare are the cause of illness and death for uninsured Poor people, or what about the 75,000 Americans that die every year from hospital infections, or those who deny that pharmaceuticals are directly linked to mass shootings? Shouldn't those people be fined for the lives they have ruined for denying that that's the real cause? Now, Weinstein's piece came just days before the UN climate report, which one professor ordered that his name be removed from that report because it was too four horsemen of the apocalypse, um, but despite the fact that climate scientists are time, and again, their proclamations have proved to be exaggerations, they're doubling down on this whole doomsday rhetoric, and now they've got the help of Hollywood. So we've reported before how Noah completely, the movie Noah completely corrupts the, the biblical version of events. They paint a picture of an earth suffering under the environmental extremism of man. So apparently man was contributing to global warming way back then, which means we are basically screwed now if that's the case. But it also fully distorts the biblical story of Noah by making the fallen angels the good guys. So in the Old Testament, we first learn of the watchers who are, there's 300 of them, and it's their original job to protect humanity and the earth but they rebelled, and so basically taking human wives for themselves and creating depraved hybrid Nephilim. Now the Nephilim set themselves up as pagan gods to be worshiped and their hybrid sons as demigod kings over the rest of humanity. Now the book of Enoch says that the Nephilim and their children sinned against all flesh, teaching mankind the arts of witchcraft, sorcery, drug abuse, and war, and the gene pool of the human race was tainted as well almost beyond recovery. Now, when you read the story of Noah and his family, he was not only selected to survive because of the quality of his character. Genesis states that unlike the majority of the rest of humanity, Noah was found perfect in all his generations. So in other words, he and his family were untainted by the fallen angelic bloodline. But the movie Noah paints Noah as the psychopath and it never once mentions God. And now we see that not only does it paint man as the plague that needs to be destroyed and removed, but now it's also painting the fallen angels as the heroes. Now, millions of people saw this movie over the weekend, and so they're receiving a version of events that are almost opposite of the story in the Bible. And the book of Matthew says that, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So. It, is this movie a warning? Because we already know that the powers that be, they love to, to put it out there. They love to brag about their coming exploits. And now, are they painting themselves and their depraved bloodline as the heroes? That's my take on the whole thing. Now, coming up, if you wanna see me shoot a 12-gauge shotgun, stick around.
The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. The key is to be aware of this attack and to fight back against it. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. I'm here at Central Texas Gunworks. I'm going to meet up with Mike Cargill, and he is going to teach me about gun safety, gun selection, and how to properly shoot a gun. This is the first step to true female empowerment and uber feminism. Well, my name is Michael Cargill, and I want to welcome you to Central Texas Gunworks. Uh, we do beginning handgun classes here, concealed handgun classes, level three and level four private security classes. And we're also a full-fledged gun store. So we actually can sell you NFA firearms. We can sell you an automatic rifle. We can also sell you a suppressor. We're actually the closest manufacturer because we're a manufacturer to the Texas State Capitol. So I'd like to welcome you to Central Texas Gunworks. So Jason, there are a lot of women out there that have absolutely no idea how to handle a gun or how to even choose the proper gun. I know for myself, I'm very klutzy, so that's the thing that frightens me is I want something that feels comfortable in my hands, that I can have at home or on my person, and it'll be easy to control and, and won't be intimidating. The number one thing is you want to be comfortable with it. Uh, I can put any kind of firearm in your hand if you're not comfortable with it. It's going to be worthless to you. It's going to be more of a hazard than anything. You know, with the females, I like to, you know, ask them a few questions, you know, really, are you going to be more likely to carry it, say, like in your purse? Um, or would you actually have it on your person, like an inside the waistband or, a, you know, a normal holster? For a purse carry, uh, I would recommend uh, a revolver uh, for several reasons. One being that, uh, you know, not to judge the, the females out there, but um, if you have a purse, you know, it just collects all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, with the semi-auto, <laughs> um, if you're keeping it in your purse, you um, you know, if something happens, you need to get to it and use it. A lot of times you may not have the time to actually draw it out of your purse, uh, requiring you maybe even to just shoot through your purse at whatever, you know, is coming at you. Um, with the semi-auto, the slide comes back after that first round is detonated and leaves the, the chamber, comes back, ejects the spent shell, loads another one. That motion, that slide coming back, very easily can snag on some kind of cloth in the purse, Kleenexes, whatever's in there, um, and then you have a malfunction and now you're, you're done. And I would recommend definitely have a safety, either a mechanical safety or a grip safety similar to the XTS, and you know, just make sure it feels good. You know, that's, that's really gonna go more than anything to making you feel comfortable and getting you to want to shoot it more, excited about it, want to learn more about it. It's all about how it feels to you. I mean, and you'll, you'll know. I mean, once you, once you pick it up and feel it, it'll kind of talk to you. Right, because it doesn't do much use to have a gun in the house if you can't exactly. discharge it quickly. You want to be as educated as you can, um, and that's what we strive to do here. You know, we want to teach you everything we can about the gun, 